Hi, my name is Chi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. You are watching Petite Dressing. If you are new to my channel, I am 5 foot 2. I'm a petite blogger. I upload videos every week to talk about petite style tips and anything in fashion that short ladies are interested in. Click the subscribe. You will get a notice every time I upload a new video. After you watch this video, leave a comment below and let me know if you have any questions. Today's topic, 7 things every petite girl must have for the spring. These are the staple items. And what is the concept that is so important in styling the petite women? It's all about proportion. If you're petite, that is the number one important thing you should always keep in mind. Whether you're dressing for the spring or the fall, any occasion, proportion is the most important thing because our eyes like the one-third and two-thirds, which is called the golden mean ratio. So anytime you, your body is divided into a third and two-thirds, your eyes will like it. And that will look ideal, especially if you are petite. You can either do one-third on the top and two-thirds on the bottom, or you can do the other way around. That means you can do two-thirds on the top and one-third on the bottom. What you do not want to do is to cut your body into half. So you don't want your bottom to look like half and half because that way it will make you look shorter and you will, your outfit will look plain. Everything I'm about to tell you in this video is about how to create the ideal proportion for your petite frame. I'm about to tell you these seven items which you can wear year after year. Now let's get started. Number one, you need a well-fitted blazer. A blazer is so important in the spring because when the weather starts to get warm but it's not quite warm enough, you can wear a blazer over jeans, skirts, dresses, essential item for layering. For petite women, the most critical part is you must wear a fitted blazer. Because we are petite, a fitted blazer has a structure that can define our body. Anything that's loose, anything that's shapeless will not look good on the shorter girl. In terms of the length, I highly recommend you get a crop length because over the years I have found the crop length can go with almost anything in your closet. The crop length blazer is the easiest to style. Makes your top half look shorter and that will make your bottom half look longer. That's how we create the ideal proportion for petite ladies. I also recommend a belted blazer if you want to define your waistline. If you happen to be a rectangle body type which does not naturally have a definition of waist, then a belted blazer will be a wonderful choice for you. Number two is a crop sweater. You need a crop sweater for the spring. You can wear it indoors and outdoors, whether you're going to the office or you're playing outdoors with your kids. A sweater fits the weather of the spring. Why do you emphasize a crop lens? You can make many different outfits with a crop lens sweater. It gets chilly at nighttime or in the morning, you can put a blazer on top of it. A necessary item for the spring. The important part for you to choose a sweater as a petite woman is you want to make sure to avoid the really thick and chunky knits. I know those are very on trend right now and you see a lot of influencers on your Instagram or YouTube, they're wearing it. But for petite women, if it's very thick and the knits are very chunky, they add so much bulkness. So that's not very flattering if you are a shorter lady. You also want to avoid the sweaters with very long sleeves 
because that's another thing that's very trendy, but they don't really work that well with petite women. As petites, we have shorter arms. So when you wearing a when you're wearing a sweater that has very long sleeves that doesn't go with your proportion, and also a lot of times you have to roll it up, that just adds even more bulkiness. Number three, you need a cardigan. Okay, with a cardigan, you can go with either a shorter length or a longer length. If you're wearing a shorter cardigan, then you have many choices to wear it with jeans or pants or longer skirts. Anything that accounts for two thirds of your body for your bottom should work pretty well with a shorter cardigan or shorter sweater. On the other hand, if you want a longer cardigan, that is totally fine. And you can wear a longer cardigan on top of a blouse and wear a jeans underneath. For petite women, if you're wearing a longer cardigan, the key is to define your waist one third and two thirds with a belt. You can also wear a longer cardigan with a shorter skirt. That is a secret styling tip that not a lot of people are talking about, but real, it really works well on petite women. Another important thing about choosing the right cardigan is you want the contrast of colors with what you wear underneath. Normally, if you're wearing a blouse underneath and you wear a cardigan on top, you could go either way. Black cardigan or navy cardigan, anything with a darker color on top and then underneath brighter color. And that way the contrast will have a slimming effect on you. Or you can also and switch it and you can wear a dark color undershirt or a dark blouse and then you wear a bright color cardigan on top of it that will also have the similar slimming effect. This works especially well if you're someone who has concern about midriff and want your waistline to look smaller. And number four, you need a trench coat. Trench coat is a must-have for every girl regardless of your height and for petite women, especially in the spring. The weather could still be chilly for a long time before it gets really warm. That's why you need a trench coat. In the morning, you need something warm on top of what you wear in the office, then the trench coat is a perfect choice. And if you're going out for the night, you are dressed up and you could be wearing the dress or the skirt outfit, and then you wear a trench coat on top that will keep you warm and adjust to the temperature difference. It's super handy, and if you don't have that, make sure you get one. And the critical part is get it in the petite size. I cannot stress this enough. There's a lot of trench coats out there, but if you're not, but if they're not made for the petite size, it will not work very well because trench coat is a complicated garment. Sleeve details, which you don't want to take it to tailor because one, it'll be expensive, and two, you don't want to lose the details after the alteration. So you need to get it from the petite brands. And on my blog, I have a post on recommended trench coat brands for petite women. Make sure you check it out. And also, I have another video on the best styling tips for petite women about how to wear a trench coat if you are short. Make sure you check out my other video as well. The important part of layering your trench coat on top of your outfit is to make sure if you're wearing a dress or a skirt, it covers the skirt or the dress. That will have the best proportion for the petite ladies. If the trench coat is a little bit over your skirt or your dress, that is acceptable. But you don't want the, you don't want the skirt or the dress to be too much longer than your trench coat. That is a common mistake I see a lot of women are making because what that does is the hem forms another horizontal line. It makes your outfit look cut off, it makes you look shorter. Number five, you need a high-waisted jeans. 
This is such an important item for every petite girl. Because we're short, we always want our legs to look longer, our proportion to look better, and the best way to do it is to wear the high-waisted style. In the spring, the high-waisted jeans can be so versatile. Basically, anytime outdoors or to an event, high-waisted jeans, you can pair it with a dressy blouse or dressy top and create a very polished look. Now, what is very on trend is the bottom fly jeans. Those are so cute. I personally love them. Here's a caveat. If you are someone who is concerned about your midsection, for instance, if you if you are a plus size um, petite girl or if you have an apple body type, I would not recommend a bottom fly jeans to you even though they are super on trend right now because the bottom fly jeans draw all the attention to your belly. If that's not where you want everybody to pay all the attention to, then I would stay away from the bottom fly jeans. And number six, you need black leggings. When I was looking at my spring item, I noticed where every day what I really cannot live without is a black leggings. Because in the spring when we start to wear dresses again, wear skirts again, it's not warm enough to wear with bare legs. So that's when you need black leggings. And black leggings goes with pretty much any prints and any solid colors. It's an essential part of our closet. Make sure you have a lot of them. Number seven, you need black color ankle boots. There's two things. First, ankle is not the easiest length for a petite woman to pull off because it has a danger of making our legs look cut off. That's why I emphasize it needs to be black color. You need to wear with the black leggings when you are wearing dresses or skirts for the spring. That way it will not make your legs look cut off and it will form a long unbroken vertical line and that make your legs look longer. Your ankle boots will just look like an extension of your legs. Here's another video you should watch about how to style as a petite lady. Watch this video and let me know if you have questions.